what's up and this is my second hair tutorial video uh, the first one if you watched it it was for little braids over the top of your head here this one is gonna be about sports hair so different kind of sports and how you do your hair for each I used to play some of these sports but not all of them and it doesn't matter because you play sports or not their hair looks that can work for your sport or for everyday life it's just a different take on hairstyles that could work for you uh, and it's just a little bit more creative way to do your hair every day. We're gonna do uh, a few sports, and no heat involved. You can use heat um, for some of them if you'd like, but for me, I just want it to be nice and simple and quick and it's a good hair elastic to secure all your hair. So I like to use these big hair elastics that I get at the pharmacy. The other things that I use are just these little clear elastics for a few of the looks as well. So you're gonna need some of these clear elastics that I also get at the pharmacy. Um, I like this brand, Goody Classics. I also use um, this sock bun. Um, I made one, but also you can buy this at the pharmacy and other hair stores. Finally, um, just some regular bobby pins. Whatever works best for you and whatever you have. Um, for one of the looks also, which you can incorporate into the other looks as well, I like to use a toothbrush and hairspray. Um, so this is the hairspray that I have at home. This is what my sister buys because I don't ever buy hairspray. Um, it's the John Frieda collection for sheer blonde. Keep watching and you're gonna see a lot of fun looks that are very creative, very different, and it's good for sports to keep your hair out of your face. But it's also good for everyday looks and they're very nice and they're classy and they're different and they're original. I've been playing soccer for a really long time since I'm four years old and I need different hairstyles to keep my hair out of my face, especially when you get a new haircut and let's say you get bangs or you get a fringe and it starts growing out and it's in your face and you can't see when you're playing soccer. I hate that. So this is my soccer look. So I do a nice little tight braid into a ponytail. This is how it works. This look is gonna start with a side braid, the same kind of braids that I did in my first video. So you can take a look back at my first video and see a bunch of options. So you start off with a side braid. You're gonna start with three strands, like a normal braid. And then you're just gonna do a regular, you just start braiding like a regular French braid. And then you go over and you add hair as you go along all the way to the end of your hair or you can braid into your ponytail. Now this one I wanted to be incorporated into my ponytail so I'm gonna try and braid it and start turning it towards the back of my head instead of down towards my ear. I'm done I'm gonna secure it with a little clip so I like to use little clips like this so it's like I don't know how to, to describe it it's like you just close it like that and then it holds it so you just put your hair through and then you close it like that and then it holds it and then I'm gonna do my ponytail Nice and high. Take the clip out. Get stuck. Uh, okay, like that. There you have it. So a nice little braid into a ponytail super simple and it's going to keep your hair out of your face. So this play. look is going to be based on Eugenie Bouchard if you're from Montreal like me or Maria Sharapova or any of those girls that play tennis with the long hair that they always do little braids in. So this is what your braid final product should look like and it's just a ponytail with a straight braid. For this look you're just going to begin with a regular ponytail. is ready you're just gonna do a regular braid now I'm at 
at the bottom of my braid, so I'm gonna take a little clear elastic. I don't know if you can even see it. A little clear elastic. And then I'm gonna tie it on the end like this. There you go, you're all set. And you have a nice braid. I don't actually have a volleyball shirt because I never actually played volleyball, but I just assumed a sports bra would be okay since it's like beach volleyball they wear these so um this is my volleyball look so as you can see it's like jasmine hair from aladdin and i'm using this as my volleyball hair because this is the first time that i saw it on a real person not on an animated disney character um i was watching volleyball i think it was in the olympics one year and there was this brazilian girl who had super long dark hair and this is how she wore it. It's a cool look, it's different, and it's not just like a regular braid. I don't see a lot of people that wear their hair like this, so I like it, I think it's original. And this is my volleyball look. So just like a lot of the looks, this one is gonna begin with a high pony. Next, you are gonna start adding your little clear elastic. So for me, I'm gonna use Four, I believe so we'll see how it goes. So you're gonna start with your first elastic and you're gonna tie it as if you're tying all of your hair but you're just gonna do it a little bit lower and then once it's in you can adjust it so I'm gonna lower it a little bit and then you kind of pull your hair out to try and like create a little bubble. Once your first one is ready then you can move down your second one so it's better to insert the elastics close to each other and then you can lower them because once they're lower you can't really raise them up so start them close together and then as you pull your hair out it's gonna lower itself and try to make them look even ish but it doesn't matter if they're not exactly the same because it kind of gives it a cool look not for your third one Again, start them pretty close together. And that's your little jasmine style braid. Um, and then again, with my little baby hair, whenever I do a high pony, I like to tie up the back so that it's not all frizz at the bottom. I'm going to take my clip like before, but you can use bobby pins, it works the same way. Now you're going to move your ponytail out of the way and grab all your hair in the back like I did last time. So you can see. Now if you have little baby hairs at the top too, what I do sometimes is I take an old toothbrush that I don't use anymore or a new one that you don't are not going to use so I just take an old toothbrush and then you just spray it with your hairspray and then you just brush the little baby hairs back all along the top and they're gonna stay in place so you're not spraying your whole hair with the hairspray straight from the bottle you're just gonna spray your toothbrush and then brush back the little baby hairs This is my ballet bun, so um, some people might argue that ballet is not a sport, but I know that Victoria's Secret Angels do ballet dancing as their workout, so I think it's pretty demanding and it can be considered a sport, so this is why I included it in my sports hair tutorial. It's a nice little classy bun and I'm going to use a sock bun to create this style of bun. So from the aerial view. That's what it looks like from the top. It's a classy little bun and it's pretty for if you're gonna do ballet or if you're gonna do uh, whatever you do in your everyday life. So it's really good hairstyle to keep your hair out of your face and it looks pretty too at the same time. Just like all the other looks, this one is gonna start in a high pony. Your hair is ready, so what you can do is you can just twist your hair around your ponytail and then secure it with bobby pins as you go but for my type of hair I feel like it won't it doesn't stay as well 
but that's a look that you can do. So that's just twisting it around so that it's twisted and it's on the top of your head. That's like one way of doing it. So you can make it messier too. And the next way of doing it is doing it with a sock bun. So I have a sock bun that I made myself with an old sock. So this is like the heel part and then you see so you cut off the toes and then you just roll it all the way into a donut until the whole sock is rolled up. So that's one way, one way of doing it. But I also have a real one that I bought at the store. This one is the same idea, but for this one you can actually like insert bobby pins into the roll and then it'll stay. For this example, I'm gonna use this one. Just because it's tighter, the other one's been used a bit more so it's looser. Um, so you're gonna go like this and then you can do it a few ways. So the first way is like you just spread it around the roll and then you're gonna put an elastic around it here and then the rest you just tuck it under or the other way is that you can just bring it here and then tuck it into the donut. So here is the final look. So this one is a little bit more messy, but you can always do it tighter so that it's really, really tight to the roll and cleaner. So this one's a little bit messier. And then you can just pin it with bobby pins to make sure that it doesn't uh, unroll. So as you can see from the top, so it's rolled up and then you can see the middle. This next look is gonna get you ready for the slopes. So this is the snowboarder or the skier braid. So it's just a really simple braid down the side to keep your hair under control if you uh, need to put a hat or a helmet on or whatever and you want to keep your hair out of your face. It gives you the chance to do a nice braid on the side while having your hat on because you know usually when you have high up braids like we did the tennis braid and it's up high and it looks kind of funny when you have a big bump in your hat everything's gonna fit nicely and your hair won't be flying in your face all day or getting stuck in your zipper of your coat. So for the snowboarder look you can do it two ways. Um, I'm gonna start with the first way which is just a side braid along the bottom and just starting around halfway through your hair and you just start here and you braid it all the way down. And the second way is to actually do a French braid start at the top and go all the way down to the side. I'm just going to do the first type because I'm going to do it for if you're going to be wearing a toque or a helmet so you don't necessarily need to start from the top. You're just going to start from the side and you're just going to do a regular braid. So you're going to take three strands, separate your hair into three, and this one is one of the most simple braids. You're just going to braid along the side just enough so it stays out of your face but it's, it's a low braid so you can still put your hat on, you can still put your toque on, you can still put your helmet, whatever you're wearing on your head. And it still looks pretty and still looks girly and it's still practical. We're gonna put an elastic to secure the bottom. I like to use the clear elastics, little tiny clear, and you're gonna put it on the bottom. And then you can keep it like this or you can mess it up a little bit more and make it messier and a little bit bigger. Or you can just leave it tight and it's gonna loosen up as the day goes on. And you can add a hat to that or you can pin this back if you need to. There you go, you have your snowboarder braid. Hey guys, uh, this is my surfer look. So it's super messy, really, really easy to do. Great for if you're at the beach or not at the beach, you can fool people by doing this look and they'll think that you just came from the beach. And this is not actually how the look is gonna end up looking exactly because you'll see when I'm doing the steps, I don't leave the braids in as long 
I just put the braids and take them right out just to show you uh, the steps but really you should be leaving your braids in for a little bit longer maybe heat them with the hair dryer so that it keeps the um, shape a little bit longer so it has like the beginning steps of the surfer hair but it's not exactly how it's gonna look and then you can spray it with some sea salt spray or hairspray that you have at home to make it more beachy you know get those beachy waves so that's it so I know I look a little crazy right now but I, I did a few braids in my hair I actually did all my hair except for a little bit in the front this is how you're gonna start off this look so you're gonna do little braids around your hair for all of your hair you're gonna do regular three stranded braids and then you want to make sure that it's pretty loose you don't want it to be too tight put it on the bottom and then you can either sleep on it which is what I usually do because it's easier you don't have to worry about it use your hair dryer uh, to heat it up so it stays in that kind of style and once you wake up or whatever then you can loosen take your braids out and then you're gonna have natural waves like surfer style so I just did mine so it's not really gonna have a good effect but just to give you um, the idea you're gonna take your braids out just go over them with spray bottle with water and actually put salt in it like if you're actually at the beach or you, there's products that you can actually buy at the pharmacy or drugstore or wherever but water with salt will actually just work obviously not the same look that you're gonna achieve because I didn't keep my braids in very long but um it's the same idea it's just gonna be a little bit more wavy for the swimmer look um, this is my swimmer bun uh, so if you don't know, I used to swim for a really long time competitively. I don't swim anymore, but I still coach. I still do this look pretty often, like I would say at least every two days, if not every day. At one point during the day, when I get tired of having my hair down, I throw it up in my swimmer bun. And this is what it looks like. So it doesn't matter if your hair is wet or dry, it will just have a different effect. It will just fall a little bit differently, because when it's wet, it's a little bit more stiff, and when it's dry, my hair is like a little bit more voluminous, voluminous, and it's like bouncier, so it kind of, sometimes it'll fall up higher, so I'll have to like bring it down, but when it's wet, it's heavier, so it'll just fall uh, naturally. Since this is the swimming look, it's, it works better if your hair is wet to start, but it doesn't have to be like that, and you can be on a regular day with your hair dry and it works anyways. So for the purpose of this video, I just wet my hair a little bit in the sink. Uh, so it's not completely wet, but it's pretty damp. You're just gonna start with a high pony. When I do this look, I always, always, always throw my head upside down to grab all my hair. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So you have all your hair. And then with your elastic, this is where it gets a little bit complicated. So you're gonna wanna put all your hair, but you don't go all the way through. Then you're gonna twist your elastic and your hair together and then flip your hair around the back and then I like to grab it again. You grab your elastic, bring your hair through, twist your elastic again if you can, and pull through the rest of your hair, tucking your hair in so it's kind of big and then you just fix it up a little bit and then it's just like a messy bun and that's my swimmer bun. I did not trademark that, it's not THE swimmer bun because everyone that I know that swims does their hair in a different way. That's just how I always do my hair when it's wet and to keep it out of my face on a regular uh, stay at home day so that it's I can do whatever and it doesn't, it doesn't really move and it's not in my face. to bring my hair back around so that I grab it again so my hair is kind of long and then with your hair you do it three times and I find that it's more secure that way if you want to be looser you can just 
do it two times and as you can see it never really looks exactly the same it has a similar look but you can just pull out different pieces to make it fall in different ways and again with my baby hairs in the back I'll pin it with bobby pins or with my clip that's all you need to know that's like a super super quick summer braid I mean super quick summer bun I mean super quick swimmer bun so there you have it so that's your final look those are all my looks for my sport look I'm gonna have another video up very soon I'm not sure what it's gonna be about yet but it'll be a surprise so I'm excited for that I hope you enjoy it I hope you learn stuff and uh, please subscribe to my channel like my videos give me thumbs up and I'll keep making videos for you guys see you next time and uh, keep watching and I hope you like my videos and I'll see you next time and bye guys Go!